have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Russ with rwgresearch.com. So, it's a little dark in here. It's not about me, though. It's about what I'm doing. So, I didn't worry too much about the lights. So, exactly what am I doing? Well, let me tell you. I am currently printing with some glass-filled polypropylene. This filament is a special filament that has been sent to me for some testing. Now, they sent this to me, the, and, and what they said was you need to buy a couple of cheap nozzles because you're going to burn through them. <clears throat> this is glass-filled polypropylene. And I said, don't worry, I've got a tungsten nozzle, so I shouldn't have an issue. So, why am I making this video? Well, actually, the tungsten nozzle, as you know, was on Kickstarter a while back. Uh, Chris sent me this for testing purposes, and they didn't make it on Kickstarter. However, they're back. They are back on Kickstarter, and they're doing decent right now and so I'm making this video so you guys can go check it out because I think it's important to back these guys they've been working really hard on some unique and different things for the 3d printing open source community and this was one of them so I've been using it for a while now um, it's been working fairly decent for me I haven't had any serious issues or concerns uh, it seems to hold a good temperature doesn't scratch the glass Okay, so one of the important things about this nozzle is it's not supposed to scratch the glass even though it's extremely hard material. So the glass you see here is not scratched. It has very fine hairline scratches but none of them orientated where I'm going to run this guy. So we're going to actually attempt to scratch this glass. So I want to show you how much pressure I'm applying on the glass. If you watch the entire bed you will actually see it move down. All right, we're going to try this again. I want to sh show you how much pressure is on here, so you can actually see the entire thing bowing. All right. So let's see if this will scratch now. Okay, I don't think that's going to scratch. Get a really good look at the surface and it was rubbing and you can see in my fingerprint exactly where it was rubbing I can see it there's no scratches on this glass right there you can see the fingerprint no scratches there so I would have to say this is not going to scratch this glass. I think we have checked that off of our list. So I don't know how hard it is to clean. Alright, so we've done what everyone hates. We've covered it with something. Now let's see how easy it wipes off. All right, let's just see if this wipes off. Mm, not bad at all. Look at that. That is just clean. That's that's a great thing. So we'll have to test that after a, a long time, but as of a uh, temporary test, that's beautiful. And it's probably not going to wear off with this uh, polypropylene glass filled polypropylene so anyway I'm just giving them a little shout out I want you guys to go check out their Kickstarter I'll leave it in the description don't forget as always we are live streaming now the important thing about the live streaming you can go there to check it out but I got some really cool angles and all sorts of fun stuff so yeah 3d printing on the live stream is always fun Okay, well that's it. I just wanted to give a shout out and go check out the Kickstarter. I think it'll be valuable. I know some of you really wanted to back this project and you couldn't or you didn't or you did and it didn't come through, but they're back. 
and I highly recommend go backing them. They're doing some wonderful work. Uh, really, really helping out the 3D printing community. So please share this, share the links, and yeah, so far so good for me. I've had really good success with it. That's my homemade hot end. It looks pretty bad right now, but uh, that's a test hot end, and that's what you get when you build things from scratch and you test them out, as with this nozzle. So yeah, peace out, have a good day, God bless, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. Now we can actually do some serious testing. High fives. Okay.